Let's talk about the Chicago Bulls real quick. We got to do it. Because uh, last Friday, they had a big event that I totally missed. That flew totally under my radar. And Charles Barkley reacted to it. So that pretty much brought some attention, my attention to, to this whole thing. So as most of you guys know, the Chicago Bulls were having their Ring of Honor, which was an event that intended to celebrate the inaugural class during halftime of uh, last Friday's game, which I believe was between the Chicago Bulls and the Golden State Warriors, right? And uh, this event was included 13 men from the entire uh, 1995 to 1996 squad, uh, which was the team that won 72 games and only lost 10, which held the record for best season of all time before the Golden State Warriors actually snatched that record and going 73 and 9. But in most people's eyes, the Bulls, this year's Bulls was still the best team of all time because they were able to actually close the deal and capture a championship unlike the Golden State Warriors, right? But uh, what was really um, sad, I want to say, I'm not going to say disappointing, but sad, is that MJ didn't show up, Scottie Pippen didn't show up, and Dennis Rodman didn't show up. So most of the stars, the biggest stars, some of the biggest superstars ever, especially Michael Jordan, who's the biggest superstar ever, didn't show up to that big event, which meant the world for that franchise, right? So Rodman was actually supposed to come, but he couldn't make it due to weather conditions. But MJ and Scotty just didn't plan on coming. In fact, they just sent videos um, I guess it would have been kind of awkward given the attention between those two guys for them to show up. And yet yeah, th that might have taken away from the whole situation. I don't expect like for them to go out there and, and you know, argue in front of everyone. But um, MJ would have been on one side, Scotty on the other. It would have been weird and this would have taken away from the event. But... This is not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're actually here is because when it came time to actually celebrate one of the key pieces of this dynasty, which was Jerry Krause, the general manager, some of the fans went ahead and chose to boo, which actually made uh, his widow, um, Thelma Krause, I believe that's her name, cry, because she was the one here uh, in the name of her late husband to actually uh, accept the award, and yet this was the reception from the fans, they booed, and... I thought it was crazy as soon as I heard from it. But what we want to do is we want to play what Charles Barkley had to say about it, and then we're going to come back and give our take. But before I play the clip, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I want, I, I want to be very careful here because, you know, Chicago, I love that city, but what happened in Chicago the other night was a disgrace. It was a flat-out The booing of Jerry Krause, the just, late Jerry Krause. The, the booing of his having that, that his yeah. wife cry like that that was wrong on so many levels michael and scotty and dennis not showing up that was wrong it was a complete disgrace to the legacy of the chicago bulls they are a, they've always been a great great organization but to, 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 for that thing to go down like that, not to have the greatest player in your organization there and won six championships and dennis and scotty and first of all they I don't even know why you would put a hundred guys in the ring of honor anyway. That's just stupid. But what those fans did to Mrs. Krause, that was not cool. And we, as we, they, they owe that lady, everybody involved that owe that lady an apology. Whether you like Jerry Krause or not, that man's dead. Rest in peace. His wife is there. And y'all made that lady cry. And that was total BS. All right, so y'all heard Charles Barkley and, um, I, I agree 100% with Charles Barkley. I saw some other reactions. I saw Steve Carroll, obviously, obviously was a part of the, the second run. Uh, he said it was tasteless. I saw Kendrick Perkins and a bunch of guys, Shannon Shaw, Gilbert Arenas. Like, some of y'all, some of y'all are just doing too much. Like, I get it. We all love the game. We all love the game, uh, especially if you're a fan of the franchise. For some people, like, it means something. But at the end of the day, it's just basketball, y'all. Like if you if you're not able to respect the dead because of basketball, then something is wrong with you. That's that's just the only way to put it. Like the dude, I know I know about all of the things that went wrong with the Chicago Bulls, but dude wasn't no criminal. He didn't kill nobody. He just made some decisions that you didn't like, and you went ahead and you booed him on the on, on the day in which it was supposed to just be about positive stuff. So let's look real quick about what happened uh, between Jerry Krause and the Chicago Bulls, about what he did good and right. We're going to start with the wrong, right? So 
I think the biggest thing that Jerry Krause did is that he let his ego get in the way of the success. That he felt like he was the actual reason the Chicago Bulls were able to do what they were able to do. Because uh, he forced a rebuild after the dominance in the 90s. Uh, so, uh, so I believe that's in 1999, which pretty much ran Michael Jordan uh, off the team. So he forced that rebuild. No one was go was for it. Michael Jordan still believed he could have went and he forced that upon them. Um, he also made some of some very bad claims in public, especially that organizations win championships not players so as the owner you can't the general manager you have to even if you believe that and i believe to some degree he is right because he has he had to be the one to actually go out there and acquire the players but the players they still have to go out there and perform every time so you you even if it's partially partly right you can't you can't say that that's just bad emotional intelligence, right? And obviously, this, al uh, this alienated a bunch of the players, especially Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. He also ran Phil Jackson out of town because he believed it was the end of the run. And, um, you know, looking at the documentary and all that, because I wasn't around in that time. But looking at, doc at the documentary, he kind of felt that way. But still, like Michael Jordan, six rings, uh, that's his coach. And uh, he definitely be deserved the benefit of the doubt. At least for one year of failure, and then maybe you get rid of Phil Jackson. But you you don't you don't fire his coach like that. That was just a bad move on Jerry Krause. No arguing right there. And um, yeah, there's some of the draft choices that he made. Like I know he drafted Scotty. He drafted he drafted Horace Grant, which was great. But some of those draft choices uh, further down the line were kind of crazy. So yeah, so there's definitely some bad on that slate, but. Come on, y'all. Let's be honest. He still, regardless of what you feel about him, he assembled MJ, Scottie Pippen, went and got uh, Dennis Rodman, went and got Tony Kukoc from overseas. And back in the days, people weren't really going out there to grab a lot of players from overseas like we see now with a bunch of overseas players dominating. This wasn't a thing. Some of them were out there, but it, you know, like it's like that's a big move on Jerry Krause's end. And, Tony Kukuch was great for that team. Great. Uh, Ron Harper. Uh, he also got G Horace Grant. So my thing is, I know he destroyed it. But in the first place, there wouldn't have been no dynasty if it wasn't for Jerry Krause putting that team together. Because the Bulls, for a while, they had Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan was out there killing. He's been the best player in the league ever since arguably year two, year three, right? Um, but... He couldn't win without the team. And Jerry Cross was the one who put that team together. He's the one that went and got Phil Jackson, although Michael Jordan really liked the first coach that he had in place. He still was like, nah, it's time for another move. So Jerry Cross was a visionary in some kind of way. So he, again, he destroyed something. He gave you something and he took it away. So the run maybe could have lasted longer. And I know they set the franchise back uh, so bad because the, the Bulls really had been relevant just one time since then. And this was when... Derrick Rose was around, like that there was really some hype behind the Chicago Bulls. So I know it's a lot, it's a huge route. You you can blame Jerry Krause, but you would still have gotten some bad days regardless, regardless. The the, the fun could have just lasted longer. So I, I get what you have a bad taste in your mouth, but it's crazy to me that you would still put all of that above the respect for the dead. That's crazy to me. And that's not all Bulls fans, obviously. But for those who went out there and booed, like, y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping. And last point that I want to make before I get out of here, and it's about the fucking GOAT debate. Because this, this is actually annoying me. I can't believe some people would do that. Like, I'm a LeBron guy. So I know that a lot of LeBron James fans... For to defend LeBron, they will just disrespect anyone. And I'm not one of those guys. I also just be like, LeBron is, you know, LeBron is my guy. Here's why. But I'm not going to go out there and disrespect people. And right now, and MJ's fans, they, they would do the same on the other end. But right now, what LeBron fans and all of the MJ haters are doing is just, it's just dumb. Like, I, when I was doing some research, I, I, I came across this article from Deadspin.com. And the title of the article is, Michael Jordan is to blame for Jerry Krause's widow being booed. And I was like, man, like, there's no way it's people out there writing this. That ain't got nothing to do with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan did the right thing, in my opinion. Although it was kind of unfortunate that he wasn't there, it didn't have it in him to go out there and honor a guy that he disliked, so he just didn't show up. So he didn't have to be disrespectful. 
And a lot of people should have done the same thing. But Michael Jordan, even in, on that video that he, he shared when he didn't come, he said, I don't want to take away from the fun that all of you guys will have. Like, he understands. Like, Michael Jordan didn't tell no one to boo. So for all of these LeBron fans who go out there, I'm going to put that on Michael Jordan's jacket, man. Just fucking grow up, man. The GOAT debate is not that serious, I promise you. So anyways, these are my thoughts. The video is long enough as it is, man. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Again, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. That really helps with the growth. Uh, and more importantly, get in that comment section and give me your thoughts. If you're a Bulls fan, how do you feel? Do you believe Jerry Krause should have been honored? Do you agree with the Bulls? And just say why. And if you're just a fan of the game, drop your thoughts also. Let's have that conversation. It's been your boy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.